Hello, here is an exercise for you to translate phrases into algebraic expressions. As you know, algebraic expressions have variables, numbers and operators like plus, minus, multiply and divide. And they help you to translate words and phrases into expressions. And algebraic expressions don't have equal to sign. Okay. Now, look at these examples and try to write expressions for each. Let me read them out first for you. You can make a copy of this. 1. A number increased by 5. So let the number be x and then increased by 5 will be x plus 5. Like that. So you can take number as x, a, b, n, any letter you want. Preferably lowercase, okay? The second one is a number decreased by 8. Then 4 less than a number. Then 7 more than a number. Fifth is 6 minus a number. Sixth, 7, sum of two numbers. So here we have two numbers. So you have to define two numbers. Let the two numbers be x and y. And then sum will be their addition, correct? 7. Subtract 5 from a number. Age after 10 years. So you can say let age be A. Then after 10 years what will be the age? That's what you have to write as an expression. Okay. Age last year. Difference of father and child age. This is also two variables. You say let the age of father be F and let the age of child be C, then difference will be F minus C, like that. 2 degrees below normal temperature. So we say let the normal temperature be T and 2 degrees below will be T minus 2. Okay, do a thing. Stop the video at this moment, make a copy of this sheet and then write the expressions. Okay, and what I will do is I will give you the solutions and then you can again continue with the video and check your answers. Will that be fine? Okay, so let's begin. Let's begin by saying first, a number increased by 5. So first of all, we should say, for all of them, let the number be n. So let the number be Okay, so always, whenever number comes, we'll use n, okay? A number increased by 5. Increase means more, right? So we'll say number is n, so we'll n plus 5. Good. Number decreased by 8. So number is decreased by 8, so it is number minus 8. 4 less than a number. This is very tricky. And most of the time, this is the one which is wrong, okay? 4 less than a number. So, there is a number from which you have to take away 4. Then it becomes 4 less than a number. Read it like this. Do you understand? It is not 4 minus n. It is n minus 4. So, this is a common mistake. And if you have done it, it doesn't matter. But now it's time to understand. 4 less than a number. That means there is a number and you have to take away 4 from it. Right? 7 more than a number. So there is a number and you add 7 to it. Do you understand? This is how you understand. Well, you might have written 7 plus number. That is not wrong. But this is better. If you write like this, you would have not made this mistake n minus 4. Do you understand? 6 minus a number. Here you have 6 and then you minus a number from it. So this one should be 6 minus a number. Okay. So try to get these things. They are slightly confusing at the moment. But once you read it once again, it will be okay. Sum of two numbers. Okay. Let the number be n. So let other number be m. So we will say let two numbers be, we will define here. Let two numbers be, let us say, x and y. 
then sum of two numbers is x plus y. So that we can define here, okay? Subtract 5 from a number. So we have to subtract 5, 5 from a number. So that's fine. So number and then take away 5, correct? Age after 10 years. You say let the age be a. So we define a variable here. Let the age be a. And then age after 10 years will be a plus 10. Now here, age last year. Let the age be a. And last year it was 1 less, right? So a minus 1. Difference of father and child age. So let father's age be F. We can write capital also sometimes. And child age be C. Then difference of their age will be F minus C. Okay. Two degrees below normal temperature. Let's say let the temperature be T. Two degrees below means T minus 2. Do you get it? So these are the correct answers. You can check your answers. Review. Okay. And then try to understand how to write or translate phrases into algebraic expressions. Okay. This is part one and then I will do part two, three and four with you. Correct. Okay. So you can move on to part two.